Good morning. Oh, this is really bad lighting. There we go. Morning, everyone. It's super early in the morning. I think it's eight o'clock and we've been traveling for a few hours. Aaron's out there fueling up. We are going to um, Edmonton for the weekend and we're going to be trying out all the vegan restaurants that we can find and there's a lot of them. So stay with us for the restaurants. I will try to vlog it as much as I can to show you guys. I'm super, super excited. The one place that I'm really excited for is called Buckingham. Uh, and it sounds like the food is going to be amazing. So we're just at the gas station and I'm going to have a cliff bar for breakfast because for some reason I'm starving. I don't usually eat in the morning, but I'm super starving. So I just got a cranberry tea and I'm going to have a cliff bar. Yeah. Erin's back in now from the Arctic Hi. fuel up. It's freezing yeah. out there. I felt bad for her. She forgot to put her jacket on. Crazy woman. I know, but then I'd be all sweaty. True that. So we're just gonna leave McBride now and keep forging forward to go to some yummy food. Road trip. stopped and behind me there is an outhouse Erin made me go in but she was nice enough to clean the seat off for me before I went in there because anyone that knows me knows I have an aversion to germs like big time and I gotta say it was pretty gross in there but now I don't have to pee anymore so <laughs> that's total TMI but here we are in the middle of the mountains could have peed in the bushes Mm, yeah, so I, I'm all Purell'd up now. Good to go. <laughs> Two layers of Purell. It was actually three. Oh my god. <laughs> three layers of Purell. I still feel kind of gross, but here we are on the road again. Mm -hmm. We're gonna get there. We're gonna, we're gonna get there. <laughs> we are. I promise. and we made it to the Buckingham and there's Aaron's what'd you get again? Poutine. Poutine. And chicken. And chicken. And this is my chicken and waffles and we're starving so we're gonna eat now. Yours looks so good. Oh my god.
good morning it's almost not morning we got a late start we did not set an alarm which was awesome um yeah we just woke up and got ready last night we didn't really eat anything else we had um some of the miyokos i think is how you say it the cheese uh chive something something chive uh with some rice cakes and that was pretty much it so we didn't eat much yesterday here comes my road buddy what was that cheese that we had yesterday it was was that cream cheese type miyokos um chive chive cream chive cream cheese Cheese, but it was like almost oh, the harder one than that. Vacuuming? <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> and that was all we had, and then we just chilled out and went to sleep because we were super tired. Out. Oh my God, seriously! Funny. Aaron had me discover Shit's Creek. Oh, hang on, wait a second. Okay, so now we are all leaving the hotel, and we're gonna. I missed it. Aw, I miss everything. I'm not observant. So, yeah, we're leaving the hotel. We're gonna go get some food. So we're gonna go to another vegan place. So I'm so excited. This is very exciting, getting all this yummy, delicious vegan food. And it is freezing here. It's windy and cold, and I didn't, of course, I didn't bring a jacket. It's not how I roll. And that's it. So we're on our way. See you. When we get there. Okay, I just realized we started talking about Schitt's Creek and then I had to turn it off because there was a guy in the elevator. And then when I turned it back on, I started talking about something else. <laughs> so yes, Schitt's Creek is Aaron's favorite show. And I watched it for the first time last night and it was actually super funny. How many episodes? Like four. Yeah. Yeah. You we didn't watched, even like, get to like the no. good ones yet. I know, I was like, I'm piecing out. I have to go to bed. So I was super tired. Um, but yeah, so... Okay, left you hanging on the Shits Creek, so I thought I'd come back Smack and this shit. say that. Now we're gonna try to get to where we're going alive, because the drivers here are a little bit nutty. This is very. That's gonna be yummy. Oh, I think it will. I think this is gonna be fabulous. Oh my god. This is root vegetable, root vegetable, hash browns, multi grain toast, and uh, tofu benny. I can't even remember what's all on here. I think ham and spinach and egg part, fake egg part. Tofu scramble, the curry, tofu scramble, and toast, and fruit. I just realized that. Okay, here we are at the pen. I don't know how to say it. Pad Manati? I don't know. Pad Sorry. And this is the bacon. It's so good. But I'm super excited for that. Hey. This is Benny or whatever it is. Oh, <laughs> are you dying? Take a bite. No, my mouth is, I just burnt my mouth. <laughs> did you actually? Yeah, I did. Well, I'm gonna take a bite of mine. Okay, I'm super excited for this. Like, ridiculously excited for this. It's gonna be really messy. Oh my god, yum. This is a really huge bite. Oh my god, that's so good. Mm. So good. We definitely will.
sleep nine hours later, probably. <laughs> About nine it's hours like later. Five days and later. we're really, really starving because we haven't eaten anything else since we ate this morning at that restaurant. We were trapped in the mall shopping. Yeah, like eight hours of shopping. Then we had to drive to the pizza place. So we, we drove to Dai Pai, which apparently is the best pizza on the planet. Ooh. And I'm really excited because yep. I am freaking starving. All we had at the mall was bubble tea. And mine wasn't bubble tea though. Her, hers it? didn't have the bubbles, but it was bubble tea. Like, but it didn't have the bubbles. Oh, so I am super starving. Mm -hmm. Like legit. This has those olives you like on it. Does it? Mm -hmm. This smells. I got the pierogi. Oh, all right. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Is that good? Mm hmm. Okay, good. Mmm. Good. So good. Here's my pizza. Like, seriously, how good does that look? It smells like to die for. Here's Aaron's pizza. Get it? Look at that giant tomato. Die pie. Die pie. Yours is the Mediterranean. Yeah. And mine's the pierogi. I'm gonna smash this pizza right now. Probably the whole thing. I'm so starving, I might die. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's technically day three now, and we are not headed anywhere exciting for food this morning because that takes forever to drive all over everywhere and get food. So here it is, my exciting breakfast of apples and coffee. So we're just in the truck right now, just figuring out where we're going first. And we're gonna have exciting lunch and exciting dinner though, so don't worry. And it is beautiful out today. It's freezing cold, but it's beautiful. Nice out, but cold. So I will see you when we get to where we're going. I have really big hair today. Uh, yeah, we'll see you when we get to where we're going. Like there's no sauce. It doesn't look like there's very much mustard. Hi guys. It's been lots more hours since <laughs> we last videoed. But we had the, the new veggie dogs at Ikea and they were actually super good. Basically what it is, is if you've ever had the meatballs that they have there, the frozen, well, you can get them frozen, but they're not frozen when you eat them. <laughs> can I interrupt? Yeah. Um, my phone says it's so close that it's assuming that we're walking there. <laughs> nice! We're no, going we're not. for dinner uh -huh. we're right driving. now, but we are driving so close that Nav can't even tell us where to go. Bossy Betty, it thinks which is we what we named her. Because it's so close. And we're not walking because our feet we're freaking not. hurt. Oh my god. Um, but we went to Ikea and we got the burger or the burgers. We didn't get burgers. We're going for burgers now. Maybe. We got the veggie dogs and if you've ever had the meatballs in the cafe, you can also, is my stick in your way? You can also buy the, um, you can also buy them frozen and bring them home. But I think it's just that squished into a hot dog form because it looks exactly the same. With as delicious mustard. That. Spice, delicious. sweet, sweet and spicy mustard, which I didn't find it very spicy. And onion. And crispy onion. onion. And what was the other thing? Cabbage? Yeah, red cabbage. Red cabbage. Pickled red cabbage, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah, so that, was that all comes on top. So what I did to be a true okay, is this 21 hours? hot dog eater, yes, if is... If you fucking honked at me, you can fuck right off. They didn't. Okay. Never but, mind then. Sorry. Know. Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry about that. Somebody honked mm. at somebody. I think it was that guy got honked at. Look at oh. What is he doing? Well, he's like broken down. So oh, well, like, what are they you still honked at do? him. Okay, you need to go. Like, have to find the. Oh, we can enter the parking lot over there, I think? Yeah, right there. Okay. So, for true hot dog fashion, what I did was ordered one how that comes, and then one with nothing on it, and I put ketchup and mustard so that I could just have it like a regular hot dog. And I liked both equally. They were surprisingly both super good. Oh, 
And did you think they were super good? They are open, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Open sign. And then we had... I thought that hot dog was so good that I kind of wanted to go get two more, but also that felt a little bit piggy, so... I wanted to too, but I don't, I would have had a stomachache, but it was very good. So it was super delicious and we had some funky water with it. It came as like a combo. You can get two veggie dogs and a water thingy for two bucks. Like Sparkling hello. fruit water. Yeah, it was too. so freaking good. So I was super happy about that. And then, then we went shopping some more and some more and some more. And now I'm dying of starvation, literally. But we're at the restaurant. So we, so we just to drove to the restaurant that that bossy Betty thought we should walk to. And we're gonna go in. So I'll show you. It's called what's it called? Copper Branch? Yes. We're going to the Copper, Copper Branch. Branch. So I'll see you in one second. As per our new friend oh, yes. recommendation. Shout out to our new I besties. Believe. Vegan to girl. Sarah, and right? we forgot to uh, get you in the vlog, sorry. But next time. Yes. Yeah. But. Cheers. We're going to eat. This is the poutine. It has a mushroom. It's so good. Great. This is so good. Are you enjoying yourself thoroughly already? I only had one bite. I haven't eat. I haven't even tried to eat mine yet. It's so good. Ooh. We're having the same thing, so we're having the copper burger and poutine, and I have a strawberry hibiscus kombucha, has tea. Okay, I'm gonna try my poutine now. Sorry for the horribly awful angle. It's good. It's hot. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my god. Mmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> is it so good? Mm -hmm. So worth it? Mm -hmm. okay, I'm going to try my burger now. Just ignore the horrible angle. It's so worth the 450 meter drive from mm -hmm. where we were. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is good. Mm -hmm. Can you see it? It's a, it's a beet burger. It definitely has beet. It tastes like beet. It tastes delicious. Mmm. Mm mmm. I forgot to add guacamole. I was gonna. Doesn't and I totally it forgot. Dang it. But this is probably. Mm. So good. This is seriously the biggest bowl and the most gravy I've ever seen in a poutine. Generous I love it. helping of gravy. I love it. It's delicious. I hate when there's the same as a mirror. Yeah, a mirror. Oh, yeah. Um, we're all done eating now. And holy, I'm. Mm. Sorry, I can't fix the lighting. We're all done eating now. It's so sunny and nice out now today. Uh, we're gonna head back to the hotel and probably go for a hot tub before we go for dinner number two. Because this was a trip to go on to eat. Um, all the food we could eat and I feel like we haven't done much eating <laughs> like one to two meals a day which kind of isn't enough for me because you know I like to be high carb and keep carved up and all those good things so yeah we're just gonna go back it is almost six o'clock now go have a hot tub and relax for a bit and then I'm not sure if we're gonna go somewhere exciting for dinner or if we're just gonna do like Earl's or something like that um, I'll still video it for you so you can see what we're eating uh, we might try walking somewhere from the hotel just not sure everything looks close but we've already went on a walking adventure and it was freezing cold outside and 
we never did get to where we were going. We had to walk back to the vehicle and drive where we were going. So not sure if we're going to walk or drive, but it'll be an adventure. So I'll see you guys soon. Okay. I'm back again. Um, I'm still waiting for Erin. She had to run into the store to grab something. And I bought these at Marshall's. So I decided that I was gonna have a little bit of dessert. They're super good. Oatmeal white chip. Gluten free, baked with love. All vegan and delicious. So that's what I'm doing while I'm patiently waiting for Aaron to come back. Here we are in our hotel room, getting ready to go for dinner. It's, what is it, like nine o'clock? Nine o'clock now? Close. Somewhere around nine o'clock. We got out of the hot tub and- it was cold. Yeah, the hot tub sucked. For some reason it was cold and look at the sunset out of our window, it is gorgeous. And it's almost gone. Yeah. Good thing we're not walking. I know. Good thing we decided against that plan. Good morning, or not morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> that feels weird to say good afternoon. How about just hi? Here we are in Edson and we're on our way home today. It's 2.30 right now. And so we ran to the store and got some lunch, breakfast slash lunch, everything. So hummus. And My entire loaf of olive glace. Super delicious. I have banana bread. And then I also have some rice crackers because I got this at the vegan market before we left. It's the Miyoko's garlic chive. So I was putting some of that with rice crackers. And then Aaron also got an olive mix and then one roll thing, one what is it again? It's, called. it's some kind of roll. It's got rice, rice and chickpea paste. Yeah, inside of the what's the grape leaf? Grape leaf. Yeah, I'm like I can't even talk right now. This morning in the hotel, I had some coffee and I had the Daya peach yogurt that I bought the other day. Um, and what'd you have? Oh, potatoes, leftover potatoes. Actually. It's a root vegetable hash Oh, brown that's mix. right. Root vegetable potatoes. It's beautiful outside today. The clouds are all fluffy and they look like, reminds me of the Toy Story movie, the fluffy clouds. So that's pretty much it. We're just piecing out. We're, yeah. we're, we're not full, like our stomachs aren't full because we just started eating. But we are literally full to the gills, as you can see behind us. We cannot fit one more. Thing. Should we go over the scale? In this see? vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> and so now we have to go home because we have no more room for any more anything. Full, full, full. We'll see you guys if we sorry, eat again. Sorry, Marie Kondo. Yeah, you won't like us right now. Definitely not. Oh, and I had a tea, a uh, mango tea from the gas station. That's about it. Uneventful, just driving straight. This is the longest, straightest road, goes on forever, and all you see basically is dirt. And dead grass field. Yeah. So I'll see you guys in a bit if anything exciting happens. Here we are in Jasper. We decided to take a little pit stop. It's so sunny and beautiful here. And look at this. Isn't that so cool? Do the mountain behind the Which one? This one? Oh, and the big mountain behind us. So we're gonna enjoy the sunshine for a little bit. Check out some of the stuff. There's a ah, deer poop. Gross. Um, yeah. This thing is cool. It's a big 
compass. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Can hear the birds. Look at these trees behind me. It's super sunny here, holy. Trees and the mountains. It's so pretty here. Here we are in the train station, waiting for the train. We got bubble tea. I got one. And what do you think? This is Aaron's second bubble tea, but first tapioca pearls. What is it? Mm, tapioca pearl. Do you like it? Mm. It's not bad. It's my favorite. It's like a grape slash rubber wall. <laughs> it's a rubber grape, people. Mm -hmm. If you haven't had tapioca, it's a rubber grape. That was our super fun adventure in Edmonton. Um, we didn't get to try all the restaurants, but we did try the, the top few that we wanted to. I think we just missed one of the bakeries that we really wanted to go to and a few stores. But overall, everything we tried was amazing. I would definitely go back and do it again. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button.